Hey everyone, so excuse the state of me, I just don't get why people on Instagram have to look perfect and present perfect food and everything that isn't real about life because honestly I think most people are preparing food either in their pajamas or in their workout gear or not looking perfect so this is the real world. So I'm going to share with you, I don't know, it's like I've had a revelation in how to make soup that I don't know why I didn't either hear about it or come up with it myself recently. Um, I'm all for using, tra I, sorry, we have, a, we have a dog stealing things off the table, who now, who now wants to play tag? What have you got? You're bold, and if I try and chase, it's just going to become an epic game of tag. So, I like using homemade broths for making soup. Um, I did spend a while recently being fully plant-based to see how my body felt and to ask a lot of questions about sustainability, the environment, etc, etc. And honestly, I believe the most sustainable way that's good for the environment and for reusing ev or using every part of the animal is actually making our own broth from bones. So I was at the butcher's this week and I was looking for bone marrow bones and he didn't have any. So he said he was taking the breasts off of chicken and would have carcasses. So he gave me four. This is two of them that I've just taken out from the freezer that I've put in the freezer because I only needed two. There's so much meat on them. So I took these carcasses, two of them. I put them in my, I'll just put these down. I put them in my crock pot, which you can see here. I covered them in water and I let them um, simmer away on the slow cooker function of low for 12 hours. And that made amazing lean broth. I took, I lifted the bones out carefully using a slotted spoon like this so that the stock drained through and I could hold on to the carcasses. And then I took the meat off them when they were cold with my hands and I got a tub this size of chicken meat off of the carcasses which would, I don't know, were they just getting thrown in the bin? What a waste. So this now is going to feed the dogs for several days. So once I'd lifted the bones out of the stock, I was left with a crock pot full of bone broth. Normally we take this out, we wash everything, and then we start again and we make our soup. No, I just threw all of my soup ingredients back in here into the broth and let it simmer on about 115 for an hour. So I put in onions, garlic, some of my dad's giant marrow, a carrot, and some leftover potatoes that looked like they were dying, but still perfectly fine for making soup. And now I have beautiful soup, liters of it, that can be used for meals, that can be frozen for, for lunches or for snacks. Um, it needed, I, I think the seasoning I used, I put some miso in there and a tiny bit of mixed spice because I didn't have fresh ginger and I just wanted to give it a bit of kick. Um, and that's it. And this is just such a healthy meal. Yes, it's not vegan. Yes, it's using up waste. So we're using all of the animal and we should be doing this more responsibility. Frankly, I'm kind of shocked how much meat gets thrown away in the carcasses. Um, but yeah, no washing. I just made soup in the crock pot. So I think, look at this naughty little shit. He's just eaten the top of my salt cellar. Come on. Yeah, this is, this is the game. <laughs> so, let me know how you get on with making some crock pot soup. This is the second batch I've made. The first one worked amazing and I did it with beef bones. Um, so yeah, bye.